I take pride in my work ethic, I take pride in the way I play my sport and represent my country, and I take pride in just everything that I do. I started playing rugby uh, after I got cut from UW-Whitewater softball team uh, my freshman year. And at that time, I was going to open gyms with the basketball team, and a couple of my basketball teammates encouraged me to try out rugby, and I went to one practice. And then later that weekend, I ended up going to medicine and playing with the Whitewater rugby team. And I haven't looked back since. Currently, I'm a personal trainer at Bally Total Fitness. I'm also an assistant varsity basketball coach at a high school. In order to be a personal trainer, you have to love what you do. I love fitness. I love working out uh, with my clients. You know, they're looking for, um, you know, to reach their goals and me being there, like I can help them, guide them um, to a path to reach their goals and everything. So with me having a passion for fitness and them having a passion for losing weight or getting stronger or being more active in their life, daily lifestyle, it helps them. In my schedule, I make sure that I plan out a segment for me to do my cardio and to do my lift, dependent upon what is in my lifting cycle and everything. So uh, I rearrange my schedule to make sure I also fit in what's in my daily needs to meet the goals that I need to reach as far as my fitness level. I've played with UW-Whitewater uh, Wisconsin Rugby Club, and then I played with the Wisconsin women before after my year and a half with the college team. And then after playing with Wisconsin women, I played with the Minnesota Valkyries. And during those years, I've played with Midwest under 23s, Wisconsin LEUs, to uh, Minnesota LEUs, and senior and under 23s. So, of course, U.S. stuff too. I had been a Minnesota Valkyrie since 2001. Ham started coming to play with us in 2003. When, like I said, when she first started coming to us in 2003, she was just a cocky little kid with tons and tons and tons of potential, but uh, probably more game from her mouth than her body. But to watch her like develop into the player she is now has been something really special because every year she just got better and better and better, and pretty soon like she's you know she's she stopped being she start she stopped talking and she she just you know like she she got out her message through the way she plays. Um, I've been playing with Ham for. Almost two, almost three years on the Valkyries, um, but actually Ham and I played together for the Minnesota Under 23s like six years ago or something like that. Ham is a great player and when you play with her, she just makes you better all around. Um, she fires you up, she gets you involved, she does what she can to just um, be there as a teammate and it's, it's nice. We saw her when she was playing for the Midwest Under 18 select side at the under 23 national championships and we picked her for the under 23 national team when she was 18. I climbed up through the rugby ladder by raw talent, hard work, and uh, coaches taking a chance on me. I uh, started out as a, a hot-headed rugby player that didn't really know how to play the game, but I had the passion uh, to just win and to compete. I've always had a good support uh, from my college teammates, you know, encouraging me to be a good rugby player. Those are pretty much the people that were in my formative years that were around me, watching me grow and everything. Uh, they've been very influential just by the way they play and the way they approach the game and um, also the way they lead their life off the field. And coaching wise, they've all been very positive. Um, again, you know, seeing the potential in me and believing in me and encouraging me to continue following my dreams and to keep pushing me to reach my, reach my goals and, you know, hopefully to reach my dreams. When I first started playing rugby, I had no idea where it would take me. I had no idea where it would go. I mainly just thought about basketball and that was it. And then as soon as I started playing and being a little bit around more competitive, more higher level stuff, I realized that, that I could do very well or succeed in it. And and I wasn't aware of what could lie in front of me, but as soon as I kept succeeding, I figured it out. <laughs> a couple of goals that I have in mind, you know, if I reach them, great. If I don't, um, some of those goals would be winning a national championship with my club team, uh, placing better in, my, in the World Cup with the U.S. team. Uh, hopefully, as an individual, my individual successes, hopefully I would, I would like to win an MVP either at ITTs or in the 
in a national championship game or even making the World 15s team. Um, those are some of the things that I would like to, to achieve individually, but if I do not, I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> Fiercely competitive. Lots of people are, though, and what uh, what's different about Ham is that she has the athleticism and the discipline to back it up. So she's relentless. I would like to say that I'm proud of some of my accomplishments that I've reached so far in rugby and in life. Um, who can, how many people can say that they've represented their country in a World Cup or represented their country at all on a national team? And I think that's what I take great pride in, is what I do like on and off the field. 